Hey YouTube. So I uh, spent the night last night there in uh, in uh, Clarksville, Arkansas, and got up today and kind of messed. There's that truck stop there, and I kind of hung out there for uh, a number of hours until uh, this afternoon, and then. Uh, went into the place and uh, there's about a quarter of a mile if it's that far down the road and uh, delivered the load and then uh, I don't know it was probably it was getting later it was after six was it six o'clock I don't know what time it was I'd have to go back and look whenever I, they finally called me and told me to come get my paperwork and so on and so forth and so I Got out of there, and then I made it home. Uh, well, I actually not home. I, I dropped my trailer. Uh, can't park it here at my house. Obviously, I'm home. I've made it home now. Uh, can't park the trailer at my house. It's just not... Uh, it would be very, very, very impractical to try to do that. So, uh, I park it. I uh, have a place where I pay to park it, and so I parked the, got that. And then uh, it was about, I don't know, it was probably about 7.30 whenever I got that dropped. And so there's a, a Mexican restaurant uh, in town, and so I, uh, then I went right by, and so it was 7.30, it was still open, and so I went in there and uh, filled up on a Cali what's called a California burrito, and it's quite good, very, very good Mexican food. And so now I'm home. Uh, so I'm going to be home, go back to work next uh, Friday. So I'm going to be home five days. And, uh, you know, it's, it's always good to take, get, you know, take time off of work. And uh, as I've said many times in my audio podcast, I've, uh, at least in my own case, I found that uh, if I stay out about three to three and a half weeks at a time and whenever I do come home either come home at, if I can then there's exceptions to it but at beginning of the month end of the month and then uh, take about five days off sometimes I'll just take four days off but usually I take five complete days off but and then I go back to work and uh, and by the time I take about five days off uh, I'm kind of ready to go back to work. I can actually look forward to going back to work as opposed to looking at it as some sort of a drudgery. If I stay out longer than about three to three and a half weeks, then I begin to run the risk of uh, starting to feel burned out and kind of not wanting to do the job and, and feeling kind of tired and, you know, you know, <laughs> And so on and so forth. So if I can, if the mix for me that seems to work the best is about three and a, three to three and a half weeks out, and then about five days off, and so on and so forth, and uh, that that seems to that kind of rotation seems to work pretty well. And in that way, I don't, uh, I you know, I don't get too bored because if I sat at home too long, I would get, I I know I would get very. Uh, bored with it and uh, you know why waste your time uh, you know you think you got leisure time or whatever well there is a point of boredom uh, that I get to after a number of days but about five days is good and then I'm ready to just uh, really ready to go back to work and kind of you know at that point sort of looking forward to can kind of look forward to it and, it's, and I don't perceive it as a real drudgery. Most of the time I kind of look at my job as uh, something I want to do. It's something, it's, uh, it is work, but it's not. Uh, it's something that I really look forward to doing. And uh, I know there are plenty of people that look at their job as it's just some horrible thing and, you know, and why wasn't I born rich and so on and so forth. And, uh, that's the, I don't care if you're a street sweeper, uh, that's the wrong attitude to have. Uh, you want to have the attitude that, uh, that uh, you'll do the job to the very best of your ability, whatever the job is. And if you have the right attitude, then it doesn't matter. You could be uh, cleaning toilets and be perfectly happy with it.
you know, if you had to be. If that was all, if that was the only job available, whatever the job you find yourself in, if that's the only thing available or whatever, even if it's not, uh, do it like a, you know, an apple tree just naturally gives apples or an orange tree naturally gives oranges. It doesn't try to, you know, hold them back or whatever, you know, so you, we as human beings should, uh, sort of do the same thing as we live our lives and, and, and basically, you know, when we're working, you know, we think we're doing it for money. We're really not. We're, we're sort of trading our, uh, time and our skills and our efforts. We're sort of trading that and the money is simply a medium of exchange. People fail to understand that and they somehow think, well, we can print money and, or redistribute money and, and the government, you know, spend money some that they pulled out of someone else's pocket. Somehow we can, uh, stim, quote unquote, stimulate the economy. Well, that's, that's ridiculous. You can't stimulate anything with, uh, just by taking out of one pocket and putting it in another. You can't stimulate anything by messing with the medium of exchange because that's all you're really doing. You're just messing with it, and it's it's ridiculous. Uh, so, you know, the only way you're going to stimulate an economy is, you know, stimulate people to work, get them to want to work, and and anxious and you know and enthusiastic about the work, and so on and so forth. Uh, instead of uh, spoiling spoiling them and making them feel like it's a terrible drudgery and so on and so forth that they have to work. It, work is a gift. You know, it's not a curse. You, you know, people think it's some sort of a curse. It's actually a gift. You better be glad. If you've got a job and you can work, you better be happy and grateful that you can do it, that you have that opportunity, because not everybody has it. So, anyway, I'll quit preaching. <laughs> so, I'll endeavor, I'm going to try to put up... Uh, videos while I'm home and so some of them may be uh, like I did the last time I did some product you know just different product review videos so I got a couple of different things that I could probably talk about or and then I can also uh, you know do something so I, I'll I'm planning on if I can I'll put up a video every day and uh, so I'll continue with that uh, so try to make them shorter though than that one I had last night I was beginning to wonder if it was ever going to, if, if it would upload, but it did. I was kind of shocked when I woke up this morning and I found that it had actually uploaded. It was 27 minutes long and uh, that was that was quite lengthy. That was quite large. That was like a two and a half gigabyte file to, to push up through uh, through mobile internet and it went, but it, uh, it took it a while. So anyhow, from uh, home, I'll catch you later.